Hello everyone, this is Christmas Secret Fab. Today we are going to be doing the installation of the 2022 WRX JDM style grill pinstripe on this stock grill. We're going to be doing this inside. However, if you're going to do it outside on a vehicle, make sure the temperature is around 70 to 80 degrees, but at least at a minimum that it is, you know, generally warm, but that you're doing it in shade. Now, because of the way we apply this pinstripe, you want to be in a shaded area. The sun will affect your insulation greatly. It'll stretch out the pinstripe. We've kind of custom contoured this piece so that it's really easy to install on your vehicle. And just in case something like that happens, you don't heed our warning or you start pulling on the pinstripe too much, we've given you a second one just in case. Let me get this camera set up so that you can go uh, more in depth and get this installation done. Alright, so Import Image Racing was kind enough to lend us their grill. They're also going to be offering these uh, pinstripes and other vinyl products on their site. They actually have the new uh, JDM style grill, which is a really kind of expensive upgrade for your vehicle this year versus back when uh, the JDM style grills were being put on the V8 chassis in the United States. Those grills were reasonably priced. I think the new ones are like around $400. However, if you do decide to get that upgrade, you can install this on that grill as well. We've taken pictures of the corners basically to help guide you uh, to where you want to start. A lot of this is about where you start. Uh, that kind of dictates where you're going to end up. We could have started a little bit higher on this side because we finished a little bit higher on this side. I'm going to take this pinstripe off. Pretty easy to take off. It's been on here for about a week. And then, just like you should do on your car, use a microfiber or some nice detail spray. Uh, clean that application area. Now, you want to peel this pinstripe off a little at a time or have another person hold it up. Uh, we're going to be doing a dry install. We'll install it starting right up in one of the corners and then guide it just a little bit at a time so that we can contour this curve uh, really well. Because it is a thin pinstripe versus like a huge sticker, you can just guide uh, where it goes pretty easily. I will try to stay out of this camera's view, but I do need to get right up in the corner. So if you don't apply it right in the beginning, just keep on adjusting it so that the end kind of fits right in that corner. This process of starting it can take the longest and that's another good reason to keep out of the sun, keep calm, and don't stretch the vinyl. The sun will have you stretching the vinyl really, really quickly. Now, it's a little bit past the corner there. I'm kind of happy with that. That's fine. I'm going to slowly peel this off and guide it. I want it tucked right up against this little lip. So I'm just starting into that curve. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. Just got this new camera. We'll probably be getting a different lens soon. It is a lot further from me than I'd like it to be, so it's hard to watch the monitor at the same time as I'm installing this. Don't be afraid to peel it up and then guide it if it's slightly off. But you don't want to pull on this much. If you pull too hard, it will stretch. And then when you get over here, it'll be way past your mark. Let 
mean, you could do this with some generic pinstriping, but usually those are uniform all the way throughout. And Subaru usually makes the pinstripe a little bit thicker in the middle and a little bit thinner towards the edges. And that's what we've tried to recreate. I wouldn't be surprised if we see this released in Japan at some point through this vehicle's generational growth, development, whatever you want to call it. So now we're just starting to get into that other curve. Hopefully your installation is a little bit easier because I'm trying to make an effort <laughs> to stay out of the camera view. Hopefully when I review this footage, all is good and good and well, and you guys get a good idea of how to install this. Slowly guiding, slowly lifting as needed. Not pulling really hard, not stretching the pinstripe. So we finished very close to how we started on the other side, which is good. And when this is viewed on the vehicle, because it curves upwards into this kind of shadowy area, you shouldn't be able to tell. So check out this video before you install yours. Guide your installation uh, based on this video. Should give you a good idea of where to start it. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and hit the bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we are coming out with for this vehicle. Um, after this uh, is on here a little while, it will bake in the sun. You can go through a drive through, uh, go through an automatic car wash. Uh, even if it's touchless, not touchless, uh, you should be fine. We go through a car wash that is not touchless all the time. Um, if you guys have any ideas for this platform, any colors, designs, whatnot that you'd like to see, please uh, leave a comment section uh, in the comment section below or go to our website, use that contact form or use our chat to uh, start a conversation with us and we'll try to uh, fit your needs. We'll, we'll probably do some stripes up in this area. I've got a couple designs uh, in mind. So thanks again for watching. Till later. Goodbye.